Welcome to Drinks Chew. My name's Mike and I make cold brew coffee for a living. And today I'm gonna teach you guys at home how you can make cold brew coffee for yourselves using stuff that you've got around the kitchen. How about that? First question you guys are probably gonna have is, cold brew coffee, what's that? Is it coffee that's cold that I have to drink cold? I don't like drinking cold coffee, I like hot coffee. Doesn't matter, because cold brew coffee's nothing about having to drink cold coffee. In principle, cold brew is coffee grind sitting in water that you leave so it can steep out all its beautiful flavors that you then filter off and are left with a pure coffee concentrate. So those of you in the UK, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Not those of you in the States, you're wonderful. Those in France, you're even more amazing. And in Italy, you're untouchable. Because I tell you what, in this country, 77% of us are still drinking instant coffee and that is unforgivable. I won't have it here. The reason cold brew works in this situation is because you can make a batch that will last you a whole week, stick it in the fridge, and it's dead easy. And it's very good, and it's very versatile. First thing you need is coffee. Now you can buy it as beans in any supermarket or any coffee shop, or you can buy it pre-ground. Right, first is first, coffee beans. Now I've already bought 250 grams, which will make a nice, good litre of cold brew coffee. Open your beans, and in they go, all the way up to the line. Definitely needs to be on the coarsest setting. Right, now, remember of course, having pre-ground coffee is just as good. You don't have to have a grinder, but I'm a bit of a show-off when it comes to this kind of thing, so that's why I use one. Also gives me an opportunity to uh, take a moment out from the hard rigors of making cold brew coffee and have a chat and make a connection, be a little more intimate with the old crowd out there. So I had a bit of a journey up today. Unbelievable, and I was the best man, true story. Hang on a second, I'll just finish this and I'll come back to you. Into the bowl. Look at that, super coarse. So, once you've got your grind out, pour yourself out a litre and a half of filtered water. Nice and slowly, don't just dump it in, because what we want to do is we want to soak all of that ground. Yes? We want to make sure that everything is allowed to express itself. Strangely attractive, isn't it? Get yourself a nice towel over the top, and then you go away and wait for, now this is the important bit, wait for at least 20 hours. You want to leave it steeping for as long as possible. So 20 hours minimum, but I like around the 24 hour mark. And we're back, it's 24 hours later. Let's have a look, see what she's looking like. Right, now, you might not, whoa, 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 whoa. this looks like it's a strong one. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, let's get rid of that. That is looking amazing. And it's smelling amazing as well. I could almost drink it straight away, but I'm not going to, because it's full of grind, and I've got to get rid of that before I can drink it. Now, you're gonna do it twice, because the first time's gonna get rid of all the big stuff. The second time, through the kitchen roll, it's gonna get rid of all the little stuff, leaving you with a lovely, clear coffee. So, get your bowl, place your sieve, get your cold brew, straight through into the bowl, pour it all through because there's some really tasty coffee still stuck in there. So let's get that all out, that's it. Give that a little dingle. Get your kitchen roll, give your kitchen roll a little bit of a soaking. There we go. And put your kitchen roll just straight into your sieve. And here's your double filtration process, straight in until it reaches the top. This is the bit that takes the longest. Once this is all done at the front end, the back end's wonderful. You've got it in the fridge, you're free to go. You can make your hot, you can make your cold, you can do everything you want to do with the coffee. This looks like it's going to be a two and a half siver. And we're done, here it is. All finished, nice dirty filter, picking up all of the stuff that we don't want to drink, leaving the stuff that we do. And the next thing is to find a good jug or something sealable that you can stick into your fridge so that you can keep the cold brew for up to two weeks if it's nicely sealed. That's why I think it's so good. Right, here we go. Pour, pour, pour. There we go. Right, actually, before I put it in the fridge, I'm gonna have a taste. I'm gonna pop my kettle on, and I'm gonna pour just a little smidge into my morning cup. Now, that's all I'm using. Come on in, let's have a look. There it is. That's all I'm using. There it is, hot water in. Now, the other beautiful thing about the cold brew is that because hot water, this is the first time it's ever met hot water, it hasn't leached all the flavors from the grind from the beginning. And as a result, it's not nearly as bitter. A lot of the acids and the oils haven't been released from the grind, and you can drink it without sugar and without milk. That's what I do. Mmm, smooth, so smooth. And I urge you, I command you to try it at home because it is that easy, and I guarantee that you will never go back to instant once you've done it. So if you want to see me making anything else with cold brew, or if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Drinks Tube. Happy brewing!